What is up guys? Here in a snow covered February in Ohio. It's been a little while. About to get the channel ripping again. Uh heading to Dale Hollow here in a couple weeks. I'm gonna fish my first ever BFL and I've never fished that lake. Gonna go down and uh maybe just have some fun and practice fish for about three days and then uh we're gonna check it out, jump in a derb. So we're gonna start getting some stuff ready here. Shot a little warmer in here. So never been to Dale. Um, awesome trophy, Smalley Lake. Sounds like you're gonna have to have large mouth to do well in a tournament um, with the slot limit. That's why the small mouth gets so big in there. But I've got some stuff rigged up. I'll show you guys kind of what i'm thinking based on some research i've done and um just you know watching some youtube videos of google earth that time that type of stuff seems like they're going to be on flats leading into some some spawning bays or on points leading into them it's been frigid cold down there this winter and uh it's it's going to warm up real warm this week so i'm hoping that it'll shoot some fish to the bank and you know we can have some fun not not having to look offshore and for suspended fish and stuff so i'll show you what i got rigged up here real quick first things first we got our old spinner bait we got the flare blue rock kicker and i got same color chatter bait going there got a got a money colored flipping jig black and blue flipping jig shaky head uh, that's our wide gap um i've got a big four inch stupid tube hooked up and then just some other uh popular hard baits that we obviously don't sell always have the triple threat tied on and uh got some rock crawlers got a fritz side i got a mega bass jerk bait and uh a seller baits a rig um he makes about the best a rig around that's our new uh savvy swimmer on our little finesse swim bait head so keeping it pretty simple um from that standpoint and i think i think we got them we got them covered on most of the baits we just we just got to go down there and find the fish all right i'll show you a few other things got rigged up over here in the other garage it's not as warm over here so i keep my rods in my shop but um Got all the essentials, got some garlic pins, some extra crankbaits and line. Always gotta have your extension cord for charging your boat. And then um, basically it's got a bunch of backup stuff, a bunch of different colored uh, combination spinner baits. Got got Indiana blades are loaded up. Some more spinner baits, um, some extra A rigs from seller baits extra swim baits oh god only knows I've, I've got some new call tags this year i think these are rapala and they look really nice they're really light um i think they were about 50 bucks but i think they're gonna make life a little bit easier on the water so got a lot of stuff here i still haven't even cleaned up from just unloading my boat in the fall bunch of different brands of crap and like i always told you guys i'm up i'm up front um geez about lost it there i use i use a lot of different stuff um if if there's something out there that we don't make um i use it so i'm gonna give you a little peek here this this will probably be a player down there um this is a square bill box, I think. But probably some of these colors, these reds and uh, darker greens and browns, and maybe these chartreuse colors are definitely probably going to be uh, be factors for us down there. At least that's kind of what I'm that's kind of what I'm guessing. And if not, another one I'm going to keep honest while we're practicing. Um, very, very good cold water crank bait, aside from a uh, lipless crank, is the uh, 
trust the old shad wrap. They're really hard to beat. I've got some cold ad colored ones somewhere. I just gotta get them loaded up here before we go. But um, yeah, so thinking it's gonna be uh, thinking and hoping it's gonna be kind of a crankbait uh, jig type bait, but I'm prepared for whatever. Uh, so we'll see what's going on. I've, I've got to get all this stuff packed in the boat and still find time to clean up that disaster too. Got the boat polished up. The cowling's off because I just replaced all my spark plugs. Got a new prop on her this year. Just got the lower unit cha oil chains and everything. I do need to bleed off my power poles and prime those back up. They tend to, they tend to like bleed off in the off season when you're you're not keeping them primed up all the time and everything but i've uh, got our backup prop and uh something else i'm gonna do with my boat this year is replace all my toggle switches which i've bought them all i just need to get them in that's a that's a good little maintenance thing to do because if one of those things goes bad out on the water that runs your main power or your live well or something it kind of puts you in a little predicament there. So as we go down to Dale, uh, probably uh, probably kind of dial in a lot more on some of the stuff we're using and everything, but just kind of wanted to give you a little, uh, little update on what we've been doing here down in Blue Rock and uh, just say hi and show you what we were getting ready for this spring. We're gonna go down there and then come back and do our little thing around ohio i might fish a couple more bfls um and and uh probably not all the buckeyes but i'm gonna i'm gonna try to fish some bigger tournaments this year i want to i want to challenge myself i feel like me and dad do fairly well here locally and uh i just want to I want to put myself in some uncomfortable situations. I think that's the only way to, to get better at anything in life, whether you do well or you don't do well, at, at least you can, you know, push yourself a little bit. So next time we see you, we'll probably be getting ready to load up and head off to Dale Hollow and have a good little video for that. So um, look forward to spending a year with you guys and uh, we'll see you soon.